Hello, everybody, and welcome to a next episode of Women on Board. And we have with us today Janine, who's going to tell us a little bit about herself and how she came to join this profession. Welcome, Janine. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So tell us, Janine, uh, how, how is it that you decided to go to Maritime College? Uh, well, here in Australia, I was really fortunate um, that a friend of my father's, a, a neighbour in our neighbourhood, uh, he was a marine engineer and he knew when I finished school, I was looking for travel and adventure and I didn't quite know where that was. And he suggested a deck officer cadetship at that time. So that's what introduced me to going to sea initially. And um, yeah, I embarked on 13 years at sea, making my way from deck cadet to master over that time before I uh, moved ashore or swallowed the anchor, as a sailor would say, and um, moved to the tugs uh, in one of the Queensland ports here in Australia and learned how to be a harbour and salvage tow master there. And what did you, what do you find more interesting? Was it sailing at sea or what you're doing right now? Um, I've been really fortunate. I think that no matter whether I was at sea or the roles I've had ashore, and my most recent one was as harbour master uh, in Newcastle, Australia, every two days is different. They're never the same. There's so much diversity in the roles that you do and the tasks you take on. Um, I couldn't imagine uh, any other job um, ashore that would create as much diversity and skill sets that I've had to learn over the years at sea and then to be able to adopt that into my shore-based roles as well. Fantastic. And what is it, the one thing that you love most about uh, the maritime industry and what you do? Uh, I really love the people. I, I love being able to go places, see different things. Uh, I love being able to have a complex problem on board. There's only 17 people and we would need to um, work together to fix that or make things right again. Um, there was so much that I loved about being at sea and the maritime industry as a whole. And Janine, you know, we've had, uh, due to the pandemic, we've had so many issues with regard to crew change. And it's quite sad that when we see uh, the state of affairs, a lot of crew are trapped on board for long periods of time and they're suffering from a lot of stress. Um, do you think that this would have an impact or act as a deterrent for maybe the younger people to join the industry? And what do you think should be done? Yeah, I, I can only imagine um, how much harder it is uh, to be at sea today and to have seen the ships still come in and out of Newcastle over the past year and for the seafarers not to come ashore, not to visit the mission to seafarers, not to have the same interactions that you would usually enjoy. Uh, I feel it's lost some of that desire for people when they're looking for that adventure, the reason to run away to sea as a career. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not the same right now. And I hope that over time um, that can get back on track, but it will take some time. And um, we need to probably look at uh, different alternative career pathways as well into some of the um, pipeline jobs that mariners have had into shore-based roles that I've experienced with marine pilots, tug masters and pilot um, harbour masters. And if you had one message to give the young women out there about something inspirational about why they should join the industry, what it would be? Um, I would say to them, um, find... Follow your dreams, follow your passion, work hard, make it happen. It's not easy. It's not easy for anyone to get that foot in the door. Um, persistence and resilience is there. Surround yourself with great people, uh, people who will support you, uh, people who will have the tough conversations with you, keep you on track. Find good employers who value seafarer welfare. Find a place where you fit in and um, watch yourself flourish. Fantastic, Janine. Thank you so much for being with us on this special episode for the month of March, which is, you know, a tribute to women. And yes. we look forward to being connected soon. You're very welcome. It's so lovely to be here with you today. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.